Greetings friends, this is your prophet, Prophet Great. Please, today is your very first time of watching our channel. We entreat you that you subscribe, you like and you share. And the Lord bless you. Praise God. Today, we are looking at how to become a territorial commander. Now, you must understand God's will and God's agenda for your life as a child of God. God wants you to be in charge. The first man that God created in his image, the Bible said the first thing God did was to make Adam a territorial commander. Genesis chapter 1, verse number 26, and God said, let us make man in our image. Verse 27, and God went ahead and created man in his image. And verse 28, the Bible says, And the Lord blessed the man he created in his image and said, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, and dominate. In other words, be a territorial commander. Be in charge of the earth. Dominate, rule, be in charge, be above, be the head and not the tail. Be above. Only. Praise God. How to become a territorial commander? We become territorial commanders by the enablement of the Holy Ghost. We become territorial commanders by the hand of God upon our lives. We become territorial commanders by the divine presence of God around us. The Bible speaking, it says, the man had an encounter with God by name Moses. And God said to Moses, I am making you a territorial commander in the land of Egypt. I am sending you as a God to Pharaoh. And Moses appeared and the entire land of Egypt was shivering, trembling at one man. He was operating in the realm of a territorial commander. We saw Joseph operating in the realm of a territorial commander. He showed up before Pharaoh. Pharaoh stood up, removed his ring, and gave to him. He said, by your word shall my people be ruled. And when Joseph revealed himself to his brothers, he said, go and tell my father and your father that the Lord has made me a father over Pharaoh. The Bible says, and Joseph taught the senators of Egypt wisdom, he by their princes at his pleasure. Territorial commander. And so, as a child of God, as a believer, God wants you to function in the realm of a territorial commander. God wants you above. God wants you the head. God wants you in charge, in charge of that business. God wants you in that area where you do your business in that office, in that environment, God wants you to be the head. God wants you to have the final say. God wants you the richest. God wants you the wealthiest. God wants you the business tycoon. God wants you the greatest. Speaking about Job, Job operated in the realm of the territorial commander. The Bible says he was the richest among the east country. He was the richest. Territorial commander. Peter operated in the realm of a territorial commander. That's what the Bible says his shadows were healing, miracles, signs, wonders. Territorial commander. God wants you to function in that realm so that you can bring glory and honor to him. God does not want you to be messed up. God does not want you to be a nobody. No, God created you to reign in life. God created you to be the head. God created you to be someone that will bring honor, glory, dignity to his name. That's what the Bible said. These people have I formed and created for my glory. Praise God. So you are destined to function as a territorial commander. Nothing to intimidate you. That's what the Bible said. The righteous as as bold as a lion. You are traceable to the lineage of a lion. 
Your identity is traceable to the family of a lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah. And what are the features of the lion? The Bible said the lion is the king of the jungle. The lion is the king of all animals. The lion is not scared, it's not afraid. That's what the Bible said. The righteous are as bold as a lion. Lion does not feed on dead kills. Lion feeds on fresh kills. Lion always have it the way he wants it. Lion always have the lion share. So you must have the heart of the lion. You must have the attitude of a lion in order to operate in the realm of a territorial commander. I pray for you. The Lord give you wisdom and the grace and move you into this realm in Jesus' name. Shalom and God bless you.